Hey, everybody. Happy Thursday. I'm so glad that you're here with me tonight on the Shibboleth Fast Track. We are going to be going over lap five of our Fast Track system. Hey, Nora on Facebook. I'm glad you're here with me. Good to see your name. Um, if you are on Facebook, please take a second to say hello. Give me a few little heart thumbs up. And even if you're not hanging out with me the whole time, just take, just say hi. Just say hi. If you're just passing by, say hi. But most importantly, if you're one of our members and you are on Facebook right now, hit the share button for me. This is going to give people that don't know what Shibboleth is yet an opportunity to see some of our resources. And if they want to get access to those resources right now, they can get access to these resources for life for just $69. And they can get that membership at www.shibboleth deals.com shibboleth deals.com hey angie glad you're here that's awesome so it's a great membership i was just saying on another video that i never wanted to spend money to lose weight so i had never joined any other things i joined shibboleth and it has been the absolute best decision i could have made i lost 50 pounds in about five months and coming up in august i will have been maintaining that now for two years and when i say maintain that really means between i i keep a wellness or maintenance range of about five pounds. The most I ever gained was at Christmas and I ended up with 10 pounds, but that was gone in about a week. I mean, it was just absolutely amazing after I started right back, but I still did all of that within living the Shibboleth lifestyle. So it is a wonderful, practical, sustainable, and fun lifestyle. I am happy, happy, happy to represent Travis and Sasha Martin. Travis is the founder. He's been doing this for 20 years. Sh Sasha is the CEO of Uncommon Paths. I totally don't mind being on an uncommon path. How about y'all? Uh, we do business as the Shibboleth Lifestyle. And I am the Shibboleth new member fast track instructor. Originally, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, but I have been here in the Kennesaw, Georgia area now for 26 years. So now I've been in Kennesaw for longer than I have been in Alabama. So if you are in the Zoom room here with me tonight, I see that Erin is here with me and Erin has set her chat to all panelists and attendees. Thank you, Erin, for remembering to do that. And hey, David and Ruth Ann, I'm glad y'all are here. Do me a favor. If you will click where it says all panelists, it'll bring a little drop down menu and you can choose all panelists and attendees. Okay. And then that way, when you type, it will go ahead and give you um, we'll all, everybody will see what you write, not just me. Angie says, my lifestyle starts next week after vacation. Awesome, Angie. I'm glad that you're here because you know you, you got the answers for after vacation. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Pat. I'm glad y'all are here. Okay, awesome. Well, I did take a holiday today. Let's see who else is here with me. They just haven't said hello. Hey, okay. I see Patricia and Deb and Manette and okay. Awesome. I got other people here with me. That's wonderful. I'm glad you're here. So I took a holiday today. So here's one of the things that I do when a new month comes up, I ask myself three questions because I, if this is a management system, see Shibboleth is a management system. Well, how is it that you um, make these decisions and you put Put the management system to work for you. Got to have a plan. So I manage by the month and then by the day and then by the meal. So that's how I manage. So July 1st is today. So I asked myself a few, a very few, a few very important questions. One, am I going out of town this month? I am not going out of town. So I don't have that I'm aware of. Um, so I don't have anything like to hold back for vacation to have holidays, okay? I uh, also, hey, Patricia, awesome, I'm glad, I'm glad. Good, welcome. Hey, Patricia, I figured out, I kept calling you holiday, but I figured out your name is Patricia. So that's why I'm calling you that now, but I know. Hey, Amy, Amy, I hadn't even started. So I'm glad you're here, you're, 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 you're on time. So I plan, I ask myself, am I going out of vacation, on vacation or out of town? I mean, most people 
want to do what they want to do on their vacation, right? Now, we don't have to. It's okay if we don't, but I at least want to plan for it. The next thing I ask myself is, is today, I mean, excuse me, this month, do I have any birthdays, anniversaries, or other actual holidays? I don't have any this month, uh, birthdays or anniversaries. It is July 4th. I will be at home on July 4th. I'm not going anywhere. And so if I'm at home, there, there's really no need for me to have a, a holiday. So I can if I want to, but it's not a for sure thing for me. And then I just say, what else on my calendar revolves around food that I might want to take advantage of? Well, I go to a lot of luncheons and I don't take advantage of a lot of those luncheons because I have other days marked off on my holidays because of those other questions that I just described. Well, today I went to the Ackworth Business Association luncheon and I wanted the cornbread and bread pudding from Henry's Louisiana Grill in Ackworth. And so I decided to have a holiday with that. So I'm just going to show you something. I don't know this. This isn't part of my normal Thursday night thing. But since I had a holiday today, and it's the brand new, it's, a, it's the brand new month, I wanted to at least share this with you because I think it's really important for you to see and hear and understand how somebody that has been keeping up with this lifestyle for two years does it. What is the thought process that goes through my mind and everything. Hey, Michelle, glad you're here. Hey, Patty Bass. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to drink this tonight because I'm going to try a new thing, but this is, this is ocean spray. They have a lot of different crayon, crayon somethings. Okay. I like pineapple and I used to really drink this orange pineapple juice, and but it was full of sugar and would spike your insulin. This one only has five calories. Okay. So sometimes I take this and I pour it, I pour it in my it's time to celebrate glass because I'm celebrating that I know the secrets of weight loss. Okay, I'm not going to use that tonight. I just wanted to show you another option. But what I am going to use is this stuff right here. Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother, with the mother. The mother is all of the probiotics and everything. This has lots of health benefits, but one of the things that it does is it helps regulate blood sugar. Well, on, on, on Shibboleth, we're eating in a way that controls insulin. Well, I didn't eat in a way that controlled insulin today because I had a holiday. But if I have a little tool or something that can help me regulate that blood sugar, then I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do, hey, Kathy, Kathy Chapman, I'm going to just pour a little bit in here. And I really don't measure it. But, you know, maybe a tablespoon or so. And then I purchased the other day this little drink here. It's called Zevia. Zevia. So it's a, it's like a soda, you know, it's a, um, it's a soda. This one is strawberry flavored and it's sweetened with stevia instead of artificial sweeteners and stuff like that. So this is what I am doing today. I've never had this. I'm going to chase this strawberry. That's good. Okay. That's good. So the strawberry by itself is good. Zevia. I really, I, I like the orange too. It tastes like uh, sun-kissed. So I'm just simply pouring this drink right here into my glass. And I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate that I have the knowledge of the absolute best lifestyle in the world at my fingertips. It really, really is, y'all. So stick with me. Stick with me on the Shibby Show. Stick with me every night at 730. Come to the Saturday at noon online accountability meeting. I'm here. We're going to do this together. What I want to show you is I want to show you that consistency pays off. So let's, and then pulling out persistency when you need to. So that's what I'm here to do. I'm, help, I'm here to help you. Um, yeah, Patty Bass says, yes, it works. I'm here to help you stay motivated 
Now I can try to help, but I can't do it all because I'm not with you. But what I do hope, Pat Johnson, you okay. What I do hope though is that you've listened to myself or Jason or Travis or Dr. Jim enough times that it's like we're on your shoulder as your coach. This happened to me one day. Uh, I've heard Travis say so many times, Travis is our founder, by the way. I have heard Travis say so many times, they got into the pantry and they couldn't get out. And I've been to the pantry two or three times. Don't know why, you know, just sometimes old habits die hard. I hadn't gotten anything. I just kept walking over there and looking to see if anything changed. I bet you do, Pat. I know. I know when you immerse yourself like Pat and I have, and it, you hear Travis, but I heard him say, I heard his voice say, they get in the pantry and they can't get out. And I started running them around my kitchen. Get out, get out, get out. You know why I did that crazy thing? Do you know why I did that? I did that to break a pattern. You've got to do something to break the pattern. So yeah, I did that. Yep. Yep, it was. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Patty Bass hears me say, go to bed. So if you are hungry, if you're just getting started and you're hungry, go on to bed. Just go to bed, okay? And believe me, you'll actually thank me. You're going to say, wow, I got great rest last night. And in fact, I say it so often that Gina Brzezinski sent me a, uh, a gift one day of, some, of her being reminded that I say go to bed. And then when Cheryl Bannister and I were out at somewhere, I took this picture of a t-shirt that we saw. It says, go to bed, no problema. <laughs> so it's all, this is all about finding strategies that we can apply to our life to change the habits that many of us ha have had for a long time, okay? Pat Johnson says, brush your teeth and lay down. And then Patty Bash says, you won't even feel hungry when you get up in the morning. And that is so true. We might go to bed. Our tummy's a little empty. Our tummies embrace, I guess what embraces the growl? Our mind embraces the growl. But we wake up in the morning, we're not even hungry. So Jennifer says, I keep hearing your, you say this, burns through fat like a blowtorch through butter. And that motivates me. Yes, and Jennifer, we know how to do that now. See, the secret to weight loss is accessing stored energy for the energy that you need. So if we will learn to switch over unapproved oils to approved oils and switch over and not give our body those starchy and sugary carbs, unless it's a holiday, then we can burn through fat like a blowtorch burns through butter. Sorry, I'm, I'm very excitable tonight. I just have exercised. <laughs> Maybe that's it. And I was just doing um, stretches and stuff. Uh, Pat says, we are what we fill our minds with. If we don't stay connected with voices, other voices take over our minds. Oh, that's so true, Patty. I mean, Pat. I got Pat and Patty on here tonight. All right, we're going to get started. I'm sorry I've spent so long talking about all of that, but hopefully it was helpful. I did want to just show you all these little tools that I use. It's funny. I actually enjoy, oh, I do this with Diet 7 Up and Sugar Free, uh, Sun Kissed, and Sugar Free Sprite too. And I actually enjoy the drink much more with the ACV, the apple cider vinegar in it. <clears throat> All right, so let me get us to fast track. So we're going to be talking about some fun things tonight. Void replacements, freebies, extras, snacks, and meal replacements. So I want to say that you are in fast track. Fast track is where the new people start or if you are restarting, um, you know, or maybe you've been a member for a while and never started. So it's either brand new, you've been a member and haven't got started, or maybe you had a relapse and you are restarting. So this is where everybody comes to learn all the, the good things. But our eventual goal is to really have no more than three what we call eating episodes in a day. 
But what I teach in Fast Track is the basic lifestyle, the basic lifestyle. But just know you can utilize all that I talk about. But over time, we should be working to having no more than three eating episodes in a day. And what an eating episode can consist of be breakfast, lunch, dinner, or two meals and a snack. Okay, something like that. And then Travis will even talk more about that later. But I want you to know everything that you can do in the beginning. And you could actually keep that up for the rest of your life as long as you're still getting results. If you get, when, when you get closer to your goal weight, you might have to pull a few things out. Pat Johnson knows all about that. Um, to get to her goal weight, she was dialing it in. I would hear her ask questions like, well, what about this? I've done this. And Travis and Pat dialed it in. So you might have to back off on a few things as you get closer to goal weight. But I want you to know what all you can have in the beginning, because I want us to create a success over a period of time so that you want to stay with the lifestyle long enough to create those habit changes. Longevity is extremely important. Okay, so let's see. Um, Angie, wonder could you freeze it like popsicles? Yes, yes you can, Angie. They are hard as a rock. They are hard as a rock though. So you'd really have to lick it. There's something else. We don't sell them in the store right now. But there was a health-wise protein shot. If y'all can find a health-wise protein shot, Angie, those things made popsicles like push-ups. They were good. But I have frozen these, Angie, and they really are just kind of put in your mouth and suck on them a little bit. But do not try to bite it. That thing is like concrete. It's still tasty, but it's, <laughs> it's hard as a rock. Okay, so, but what we're going to talk about tonight is all of these little things that we can use to make sure that we continue to have perfect days so that we can get these habits in order. All right. Um, yes. So right now, just to remind you how this, these laps work, you click on here to watch the video. Um, I'm talking about it tonight for an hour, so y'all may not need to watch this, but for those people that haven't, this is a little tutorial video of me going through these things. Then you just hover your mouse over the link and a black box pops up. You read that black box. Check here to find approved replacements for some of your favorite things to avoid having an unplanned holiday. Now, avoid replacement might be something like a snack, or it could be a meal replacement that you would use in place of a meal. I know that went before Shibola, I was using meal replacements just as snacks. I mean, I don't know why meal replacement didn't register in my head. Oh, you should replace a meal with that. It didn't register until somebody pointed it out to me. Well, now that somebody's pointed it out to me, I do the right thing. So if you are on your phone, you just lightly touch this information I and that black box will pop up. If you are on your phone, but you have access to a computer, I think you might enjoy looking at all this on the computer better, but it is still mobile friendly too. That's just a tip. Okay, so I'm gonna click here and we're gonna check out void replacements. So these void replacements, you can do a couple of things. You could just type something in over here. Let's say that you want to find out a void replacement for chips. I just typed in chips and it brings up everything with the word chips in it. So chips, ahoy cookies, Fritos, corn chips, kettle potato chips, and Lay's classic potato chips, okay? Now, just real quick, I am gonna notice over here, this shows, that when they were added, that shows when they were added, but let's click on these Frito corn chips. It says, do not eat it. I think that's so funny. I love this website so much. I mean, I paid $69 for the encyclopedia to what is going to help you not hurt you in the grocery store. When I have wandered through the grocery store, maybe that's why I don't like the grocery store, Patty Bass, because I didn't know what to buy before. And now I need to get over that, going to the store. Double Bites Chips is what they're recommending. We sell these in our store online. Now, if you are near Kennesaw, Georgia, please go into our store and see Shibby Shop Sherry. She is awesome and amazing. And if you go on Saturdays, you can see myself and Kristen 
Now we won't be here this Saturday because it's July 3rd and the we are in desktop co-working space and they, they have a coffee shop up front, but the whole place is closed on Saturday for the July 4th Independence Day weekend. But we sell these in our store, but I'll also show you where to find them online because if you shop at our online store, $30 or more ships for free. So, hey, you can have stuff to your house in no time at all. And look, here's a video and there's a video with Travis and Tristan, hence his son. And um, so this is a negative one weight loss meter as a category three. Now, remember, we've talked about the weight loss meter. Negative one is good. And but this is considered a category three. So ding, ding, ding. That means that um, I would not eat this with a protein plus fat. I would not put this with fruit or superfoods either. I would use it as a category three if, it's, if that's how I'm using it. Weight loss meter, uh, WLM stands for weight loss meter. So Ruth Ann, one way that we look at foods is what is that food's nutritional profile? And so based on that, that food's nutritional profile and how that food responds into your body and responds in your body, we put it in a category. Category one for lean protein, category two for fibrous carb, and so forth. If you haven't watched it yet, watch the um, month, Sunday and Monday night videos that goes over all of that. But that's the first way that we kind of, I'm just going to say judge food. How does it respond in your body and what category it goes in? But the next way that we can look at food, Ruth Ann, is to look at its weight loss meter. The weight loss meter is how good is this approved food for weight loss? So everything that's in the food library is approved. But some foods are better for weight loss and some foods would be better weighted for maintenance, okay? So the negative numbers are better than the positive numbers. But the weight loss meter, it ranges from a negative three to a positive three. Zero, right in the center, not gonna help you, not gonna hurt you. Negative numbers better for weight loss, positive numbers would be better kept for maintenance, but if you do a positive number, it's not gonna throw you out of efficient fat burning. You just wouldn't want to be having those breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. And it's kind of like the game of golf. When you play golf, you want the lowest number possible. So if you look like, oh, I had all negative threes for breakfast. Now don't get over obsessed with it either though, okay? Because then you, that throws you into a whole nother thing of, ex, of being able to make excuses. And, and I'm not saying that to you, Ruth, and everybody, because we do hear a lot of excuses. But so then, but you can say, okay, at lunch, I had a negative one and at dinner, I had a negative two. Wow, I had a negative six day. It's kind of like the lower, the better. Um, Travis did that based on the game of golf, really. So these are one of, okay, or you can use this, see how it's a plus one weight loss meter snack. And then this is what somebody said. I don't know who wrote this. These are one of my favorites. I love to sneak them into the theater and have with a diet or a zero calorie beverage while watching the movie. These are always in my survival kit for those moments when I get the salty, crunchy cravings. One package can be used as a snack or you may use half to one package as a category three. So if you want more info on it, you just simply click right there and you'll be able to see what, the, what it looks like. Now I like these, so I've already given that a rating of five and I have hearted it. If I wanted to add it to my grocery list, I can come down here. Well, I know that these are sold at Shibboleth, really. I've never found them anywhere else, but I haven't looked. So I'm gonna add them to my Shibboleth grocery list. I could also purchase these on Amazon if I wanted to, but I like to support Shibboleth, so that's where I buy things. So just kind of as a reminder, this is where you're gonna see the categories. See, this has two categories. It's an energy carb or it's a snack. It You mark it in your journal based on how you're using it a survival kit. So Heidi, a survival kit is one of those things that you want to have with you at all times. So you never want to end up at a like a restaurant. And if you like salad dressing, you want to have some salad dressing either in your car or your purse. Or if you don't like salad dressing, Pinky Quick likes this little McCormick's um, 
seasoning thing that she puts on her salad. She carries that around with her and her bag. Um, so, or let's say that you're a person that when you go to a place like Chick-fil-A and you know that you can order the grilled or the fried or the spicy fried filet, but you would not eat their bun. And, but you really like to have bread or some type of tortilla or something like that to wrap that up in. I just don't worry about all the stuff and just eat it without it. But some people, they like to have the bread and they want the bread. So they would just take that with them. So a survival kit are those things that are going to keep you safe uh, when you go out and about. Or when you're at work and you think you might need a snack, you want to have those things with you. Survival kit. Now, Dr. Jim, oh, okay, I tell you what, and Heidi, tomorrow night when we search for videos in the video library, we actually search for a video on survival kits, and Travis has done a great one, and there are other great ones in there by Dr. Jim, and Dr. Jim just did one tonight at 630, um, so, but I like the, and I don't know what he did tonight, but I like the way that Travis and Jason have talked about their survival kits before, too, so watch those. Then the approved portion is listed there. And then if there's a description, you can go and watch. I mean, you can see it there. And then there's these little videos and all of that. And then where you can buy it down there. If you want to find it in our store, you simply click that green button. And then you can go in here and you can add your quantity. Let's say I want to get 10 bags, add it to my cart. And now... It is in my cart and it says, wait, order $30 before discount and your order will ship for free. Well, let's see what else I can add to my cart in a, in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And then let's just click on kettle chips. So then it gives you the option of health wise protein chips or the pop chip potato chips. I'm going to make a suggestion. I would prefer that you do the health wise protein chips over these pop chips. And let me look and see. I'll tell you why. First of all, it's a one on the weight loss meter. Now they are gluten free, which would be important for gluten free folks. Um, protein one, protein one. Now watch this. If I come back over here to these health wise chips, which by the way are delicious. My favorite is salt and vinegar and ranch. My son really likes pizza. He takes that with him to lunch. But look at the protein here, 10, 10 grams of protein. The things that you can eat that have more protein in them, the better. So that's what I do. Let's see. Can you eat chips with a lean protein sandwich on weight loss? Yes. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. I do. I do, David. All right, so this one would be a snack or a perfect pairing. Oh, this is also gluten-free. You can see I've given it a, a five-star rating. I've hearted it. And look, those other chips were a one on the weight loss meter. These are a negative one. So that means these are a better option. And then if you come down here, this actually will help, David. You can have up to two packages as a negative one weight loss meter meal replacement. If I'm feeling a little chippy, does anybody know what that means? You just want some chips. I'll just sit down and eat two bags of chips as my meal. It satisfies my desire for that crunch and that salt and that just the chippiness. And I'm not overeating because see, before I felt like I had to eat the chips if I wanted the chips, but then I still was supposed to eat dinner. No, I've learned, no, I don't have to do that. This can be my dinner and it's okay. Or one package as a zero weight loss meter snack. Now, the reason the weight loss meter, this is important for you, Ruthann, too. The reason that the weight loss meter changes from a negative one as a meal replacement or a zero as a snack is because no snack is great for weight loss. So this weight loss meter can change based on how you're using the item. Or perfect pairing perfect pairing with any meal combination that does not include a three or a five. Yes. And Michelle says these are great with a sandwich. So David, what you would do is you would make your sandwich and then put your chips next to it. And you can call this a perfect pairing in your journal. Okay. All right, and I'm going to go back to the void replacements section, and I just want to show you something else. I spent a lot of time talking about that. 
but you can see the recently added things, which is good cheese balls. That sounds good. Let's look. Oh, these things. Look at all these options. Now, there's something not listed here that I think would be a really good uh, option. And th there's Benitos. Benitos make some cheese puff type things, not cheese balls. But those would be really good. But I always love that this says, do not eat it. I'm like, yes, okay, I won't. Thank you for telling me now. But, oh, there's Cheetos Puffs. Let's see. Yeah, these. These are delicious. These Benitos Baked Bean Crunch, if you like those. Now, you do need to use them appropriately, you know, so they could be used as a snack. That's not the exact best for weight loss. You could also use those next to a sandwich as well. But then you could come on down here and there's cookies and milk and there's cornflakes and crackers and all kinds of stuff. So basically, you just want to read through there and see all the different options. See, this is why I've started calling this a, uh, a treasure hunt, because you get to go through there and go, well, what would I eat instead of a three musketeers candy bar? The Shibboleth protein bars that gives you an option. Actually, any protein bar would be a great replacement for this. Okay, that's why a survival kit would be to have a protein bar on your desk at work or something like that. If you just, if you were used to eating this mid-afternoon, that would not be good. You'd want to have something different as a snack for that. So that's a void replacement. Let's say that you eat Pop-Tarts for breakfast. Well, Pop-Tarts are not the best for weight loss, but we have what we call a void replacement because when you get rid of something, sometimes there's a void there. So it says, do not eat it. So we've got the Legendary Foods Tasty Pastry and then the Rip Van Waffles. So we're gonna click here. I know these are good because I've purchased them before. I'm gonna buy these. I'm gonna buy these. I'm gonna go put them in our... Put them in my, um, and let's see, these come and look at the options. When I click here, I can buy a full box of blueberry. I'm going to get a box of the brown sugar cinnamon, but you could do, look, three of each. So if you wanted to have like a little flavoring, I'm going to do three cookies and cream. And... I love brown sugar cinnamon stuff, so I'm going to add that to my cart. Let's see, did I not get that added to my cart? No, I didn't. I must not have hit add to cart. Brown sugar cinnamon, add to cart. They may be out of stock. Oh, this one is out of stock. Okay, so <laughs> I was trying to add it to the cart, but it says ETA July 2021. So I would want to just pick something different out of stock. One of the reasons that some things are out of stock on the store is because with uh, the, the corona last year, it was just hard to get things. And y'all know not everything's being produced like it should yet again. Okay, so once you feel comfortable that you know where some void replacements are and you would be able to look through there, then you can simply come check this box. Now, when you are no longer in Fast Track, you're gonna find the void replacements right here in this green tab, right there called void replacements. And look, a little exchange, a little exchange symbol because you're just exchanging things. All Shibboleth is, it's making simple swaps, but we tell you what to buy in the grocery store instead of making you figure all that out. This is the info I always wanted to know. Okay, so let's look up this one. It says freebies are just that. You can eat these items freely whenever you are hungry throughout the day. Most of your whole food category two vegetables are freebies. Check the list and our recipe library. Now, as you start to advance, this is kind of why I started talking about those eating episodes a little bit, is as you start to advance in the lifestyle, uh, don't be surprised when you hear Travis, when you start learning from him, trying to bring you back down to just three eating episodes, okay? So, but right now you can use them to help you achieve your goals, okay? Um, 
we're going to click here. And what I'm wanting you to do is I'm wanting you to put your freebies on that worksheet from the other day. Y'all remember this worksheet right here? This worksheet here, I want you to list at least seven freebies here seven extras, seven snacks, and seven meal replacements. You actually physically listing these on this worksheet, or if you don't have a printer, just writing these on another sheet of paper, that is when you've done that, you can come back and you can check the box that you've done those. But the act of finding them is the important thing because you want to know what they are. And as you are searching through the, the food library for freebies, I would look for things that I already maybe have at home or look for things that sound interesting that you might want to try. We're on a nutritional adventure. So I'm going to take this down to negative one, negative three. Now, typically, though, you know, anything that is outside of the area of we might not should be doing this because extra stuff's not really that great for weight loss, they get zero and, and uh, they get zero, marked zero a lot. But in the freebies world, this is a lot of vegetables and stuff. So it kind of kept it at that. So, but see what that did was it basically made my list smaller. Well, acorn squash, I went ahead and marked that. Egg whites, I marked that one. Any leafy green. Now, let me explain this about freebies. We do not add freebies to meals. Freebies are used in a moment of mental weakness where we feel like we're going to give in and you're using a food item to not get to, to still have a perfect day. That's when you call it a freebie, but you don't take things from this list and just pile them onto your plate and say, oh, these are freebies. No, we still need to eat them, whatever fits underneath our hands, okay? And for example, like these leafy greens, you would call that a category two, because if you're using it with a meal, it's a category two fibrous carb. You only call it a freebie if you're using it outside of the meal to still keep a perfect day, okay, or to satisfy some hunger. Uh, bell peppers, I like to have bell peppers all sliced up and ready in my refrigerator. Look, there's my Bragg apple cider vinegar right there. That's what that is. Okay, broccoli, butternut squash. Mm, that butternut squash is good. Now, I want to make you make you aware of something. Let's say that the night before you cooked butternut squash and you used MCT oil. And then you know, oh, butternut squash is a freebie and, and it's the next day and you're slightly hungry. You can't use that as a freebie anymore because it was cooked in MCT oil. That's no longer a freebie. All right. So it would need to not be cooked in MCT oil to be a freebie. And then all of those are kind of uh, vegetable like I've marked a lot of I like cucumbers as freebies and so forth okay we mark all those down and a lot of those things are going to be in two categories category two they're going to be freebies but you mark them in your journal according to how you're using them okay so you wouldn't just be calling them a freebie in a meal they would be a category two in a meal now I'm gonna expand this list. I want to see what's at zero. I'm really gonna like do negative one to zero so that I can eliminate those other lower ones. Because sometimes you just kind of wanna know what might be just a little taste of something that might be good. Okay. So this thing right here, AHS chicken bouillon, you might want to have some of this in your pantry. This is one of those things that <clears throat> it's category two fibrous carb and it's a freebie. So depending on how you're using it, you would call it either one. I've given it a five star rating. I've given it a heart. But if you get home at night and your tummy is really actually hungry and you need something, this tastes kind of like egg drop soup and it's nothing but fiber and it will be a savory way to satisfy and then you can just go right on to sleep or whatever. So this is a good little thing to sip on. It's a zero on the weight loss meter, not going to help you, not going to hurt you. This would be a great thing. So we buy this in our store. 
I'm gonna go right in there and a pack, one box has 10 packets in it. And look, five grams of fiber in one packet, which is really great. And then, so I'm gonna add one box to the cart. Yep, so it's in my cart. Okay, so once you have looked up seven freebies, you can then come back and check the box. Now we're gonna look at extras. Oops, I should have read that. One extra per day is allowed, but it is not necessarily expedient. Just because something is allowed, it doesn't mean it's required, okay? Keep in mind that it is better to have an approved extra though than to give up a perfect day and a moment of mental weakness. It is still counted as a perfect day and you are still an EFB baby. An extra doesn't quite make the cut as a freebie or a snack. An extra is a quantified freebie. So I, I need to redo this example, but it's a meaning that it's just too much to be a freebie. And it's if you do the right amount, it's not enough to be a snack. Okay, so extra would be your next best bet after a freebie. So we're going to generate our list of extras. Yeah, Patty Bass says the AHS system chicken bouillon is delicious. And that is Shibby Shop Sherry's favorite thing too. So this is kind of fun. Look, Olay Mexican cheese dip, a quarter cup. That's an extra. So let's say that you want to have 13 Benito chips and a quarter cup. 13 Benito chips is a snack. And then you have a quarter cup of Olay Mexican cheese dip. You've just had chips and dip. And it was a snack and an extra. You can do a snack and an extra in a day. Now, keep in mind, you actually would probably be better off calling that an eating episode. Y'all see where I'm kind of going with that? Because if you, if you, let's say you had breakfast and then for lunch, you were just feeling like some chips and dip. And then you had your snack and your extra together kind of at lunch for an eating episode. And then you had dinner. That's still three eating episodes. I hope y'all can understand what I'm saying about that. That would be a better way to do that day. In weight loss mode, I did just do three meals a day. All right, let's scroll down through here. We talked about a few extras the other night with the Choco Ripe peanut butter patties and stuff. Remember we talked about extras. I was using the Chick-fil-A as a drink, um, diet lemonade as an example. So here's some guacamole as an extra. Let's see what it says about it. So it's a condiment, depending on how much you use of it. it, could be a snack or it could be an extra. So when things are multiple categories like this, it's very important to come over here and read the approved portion and then also scroll down and see what the description says. So one tablespoon is a condiment. Quarter cup with category two raw veggies is an extra. It's pretty good. Or quarter cup with health wise or double bites is a snack. That's good. Okay. And then that says same, same thing there. So there you go. There's a little extra right there. You just want to make sure whatever you do, please don't have portion distortion, meaning doing more than what is allowed because if you're pushing the limits, it's not doing you any favors if you're ever pushing the limits for any reason. If you're pushing the limits, you're probably not getting the greatest results that you could. Most of the time, you're still going to be getting great results, but in the beginning, but when you start to get closer to goal weight and you're pushing limits, it's going to. Um... Okay, so Pat, you're asking, do I prefer the AHS soup over the health wise high protein soup? Well, I don't really know. I'm going to say if you're looking for a protein source that you would want to go with the health-wise high-protein soup. Okay, let's click. There's a matter of fact, we're going to click right there. So this is an extra where that other soup is a freebie or a category two. See, here's the difference. That other one is fibrous and a freebie. This one is more like a lean protein or a meal replacement with a lot of protein. So this different soup that Pat's asking about Snack, it can be a snack, an extra, or a meal replacement. One packet is an extra. 
two as a snack or up to three as a meal replacement. What I like about this is you can use this next to a sandwich too. The nutrition is included for the cream of mushroom. And look right here, uh, protein, 15 grams of protein where there wasn't any protein in that other soup. So it really depends on what you're trying to do. You know, you could do that other soup as that's what I would do at night to have even less for my body to gnaw on overnight. Um, this one would be, you know, your body would be working on that protein just a little bit. Yeah, that, that AHS, I would just use, I would just have that in the pantry and just let it sit there. I wouldn't make it a point to want to drink it. It's just sitting there in case you needed it and you would know, ooh, it's a freebie. If you've had everything you could eat in a day and you're something's still going on, you could have that as a freebie. So that's why I like to just keep it in the pantry as a staple. But what I love about this one, it says you may have a grilled cheese sandwich or cheese quesadilla with one pack of soup as a perfect pairing meal. So David, there's another option for a sandwich next to it. Now let's come up here. I'm going to click on find in our store. The reason I'm doing this is because I want you to know what you have access to. Yes, we teach you how to find everything in the grocery store. But over 20 years of doing this lifestyle, Travis has found lots and lots of things that are good for weight loss, that are specialty items that we have in a store for convenience purposes. Yes, awesome, Pat. I love that. So you come down here, when you click, on this option, you get a lot of options. This aged cheddar soup is really great for chips, dipping chips in there. This will be a high protein. Also, if you wanted to dip some broccoli or other things, this is like a cheese dip right here. Give you lots of protein in that. And then you've got all of these other options. The zesty Italian creamy cream of tomato sells like crazy in the store. Um, a lot of them do, but this one goes very well. People love that one with the um, grilled cheese. And there's some pictures over here. There's that cream of tomato one right there. Um, it's really good. So I want to try that soup actually. And there's seven packets in a box. Uh, it's out of stock. It's out of stock. So if it pops back to this page, just look right there. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to get that one right now. But normally that we don't have as many things out of stock. But I can tell you, we have been out of my favorite oatmeal protein pies for quite some time just because those manufacturers can't get them to us. I haven't tried the cheese one, but I hear good things about that cheese one. I would try that one. In fact, um, I think somebody bought it by the canister one time. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is snacks. One snack per day is allowed, but please hear me. It is not necessarily expedient. Just because something is allowed doesn't mean it's required. Keep in mind, though, that it's better to have an approved snack than give up a perfect day in a moment of mental weakness. Actually, I'm going to say this. I really think it's better to power through that mental weakness, but... Whatever happens, don't give up a perfect day. Utilize your resources. Um, and you're still in EFB. You can find hundreds of approved snacks listed here, and you can have it at any time of day. So I'm going to click here on the snacks. Oh, I wanted to show you something else. I just, look, this is, this is carb ease. Plus, when I went in there to get my apple cider vinegar, I wanted to bring this and show you this. I had this today. When I ate that lunch that was kind of carby, I, I took two of these. This is just helps with um, the carb response. And I buy this at Advocare, Advocare, but I buy it at blowtorchfat.com, blowtorchfat.com. And this is what I take on a holiday when I'm about to eat carbs. I just do things to kind of help me out. Um, I'd rather get back into EFB. And if, I, if I've learned about things that are helpful, I want to do them. Okay, let's come down through here. These AHS Cinnamon Crisp cereal. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Most cereal, we would not suggest that you eat dry because most cereal is way too starchy to eat dry. 
Okay, let's see. Do snacks like Halo Top ice cream bars or Skinny Pop bring the fat bus? Well, Halo Top is less likely than Skinny Pop, but if you do the appropriate amount, if you do the appropriate amount, you're going to be fine, Heidi. You're going to be fine. Just don't go over the amount because, see, it's not like an insulin. Okay, actually, let me just tell you all this. Every time we eat, a little bit of insulin comes out. Every time, even approved stuff. But we've got to, um, but where we eat in a way that manages all of that. So just make sure that you eat it only in an approved way. But the skinny pop is more likely to bring a little bit more of an insulin release than that halo top, um, just because there's more carbs in that one. But if you're doing it appropriately, you're fine. If you're calling it what it is, you're fine. You know, So you could even do it as a snack and call it one of your three eating episodes in a day if you wanted to be even tighter with it, okay? But it, it, it's fine. You're still in EFB used appropriately. So this, I'm actually, I haven't rated this yet. I'm gonna give that a five. This stuff is good. What I like about this is that it's already packaged. I don't have to have portion distortion and pour too much into my bowl. So this is a superfood. What it means when something is a superfood is that it has water in it, protein in it, fat, and um, carbs. Now, this may not have much fat at all, but we're calling it a superfood. Total fat, one gram. Okay. So we're calling this a superfood, though, because its entire macronutrient profile has everything that you need in it. But it could also be used as a snack. It's also a perfect pairing item or a phase one cereal. Don't get confused by all of that, okay? It just means you can use it in multiple ways. So it says, see description for details. So let's come down here and read this. Here's a video about cereal and another little video that you can watch. It is preferred that you combine this with Egg Whites International, Kroger Carb Master, or Fat-Free Fairlife Milk, but you may use a quarter cup of any, I like to say approved milk, any approved milk with phase one cereals, and it can be eaten dry. What I like to do is just take this in the car with me, and if I need a snack while I'm riding in the car, because I drive around a lot, then I can just eat this as a snack. So this would be really great for a survival kit. I would call that a snack. I wouldn't call that using it as a cereal because I'm not using it as a cereal. And I would only use this one, this cereal as a snack because it says that I can, and it also says I can eat it dry. So, so you can do that. Phase one cereals means this. Anything that has like phase one on it, we only write that on things like cereal, like that are boxed and packaged and stuff. We don't write phase one on broccoli and all that kind of stuff. But phase one typically means that it's a, a boxed or packaged item, but it would be better for you than some other boxed and packaged items that are in that same category. So for example, we have a lot more cereals that we say are in phase two. What that means is phase two doesn't mean that you necessarily went to better quality of food. We just opened up more variety because you can imagine if you go over to Captain Crunch and Reese Puffs, that's not a better quality of cereal than this, okay? So phase two just means you had a little bit more of the aisles in the center part of the grocery store opened up, more soups, more frozen meals and things like that. So that's all that means. You can have any of it at any time. So phase one and phase two doesn't necessarily mean that you can't eat it in the beginning. It's just that we want to make sure that you're aware that that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best foods, um, just in general, not necessarily just for weight loss, but in general. Um, you may have one to two packages with or without milk as a negative three weight loss meter meal or one package as a plus one weight loss meter snack alone or with Kroger Carb Master or Fat-Free Fair Life Milk. So Ruth, we don't typically eat fruit with superfoods, okay? And it would kind of be eating that together. If you want it, I know they've got some pictured here, okay, but that's, we didn't do this picture on their, on the box. If you wanted to eat tiny, tiny palmful 
no more than what like 50 um, calories might be of some fruit, then you could put in a few berries or a few strawberries. But I wouldn't say, oh, let me have a serving of fruit with this. I wouldn't do that. But a little tiny palmful as a condiment you could, but it would not be an approved combination to eat fruit with this, no. But if you wanted to have a smidge of fruit on it as a condiment, that would be okay. Yes, thank you. So anyway, you can see right here, it went to one package as a plus one weight loss meter snack. Guess what I've been doing? I've just been taking one of these and the milk I use is the chocolate Kroger Carb Master milk. And then it looks like I, all the milk from like Reese Puffs or Cocoa Puffs or something is melted off into there. And I like it. Okay, so we have just a few minutes left and let's look at meal replacements. These meals are a perfect combination of fiber, protein, carbs, etc., that make up a complete meal. In weight loss, it is best to use negative two, negative three meal replacements. In fact, Travis says that negative two and negative three meal replacements should really be in the red category where you're blowtorch and fat like you'd blowtorch butter but he puts them into the yellow category just because he likes for people to focus on eating whole foods um, in the beginning if they can and if they will. But if they don't, we got to meet people where they are and tell them what works. That's another thing I love about Shibola is we don't say, well, hey, let me take you from eating pizza and fast food all the time to, to you're going to buy all organic all the time, nothing else. You know, no, you got to take somebody from where they are and redirect. They got to get that new thing down. And then after they've got all that down, oh, you want to learn more about this? Come on, let's learn more about this. And then you can you can bring that other stuff into your into your world. Okay, so I already have this one already set for you at negative two and negative three, because those are the best for weight loss. And I am a meal replacement girl. I like them. They make me feel like I'm having all the stuff I liked before, but they, and I'm using them appropriately and they're helping me, not hurting me. So these AHS pancakes, oh my goodness, these are delicious too. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to add some of these to my cart. Seven per box. Awesome. Now they're in my cart. Okay. So these can be used as a snack, a meal replacement, or a perfect pairing item. Now remember, perfect pairing, what that means is it does not follow the combination rules that we have given you, but the team has still done the math on all of the nutrients, and we know that this will work if you use it as we describe. And it also can be a meal replacement. So let's come on down here and look. Two packages as a meal meaning meal replacement. And it would be a negative three on the weight loss meter. So excellent for fat burning. You can put yourself some, um, I do a monk fruit maple syrup on there, which is really good. But I also just like the, um, but whatever the sugar-free syrup is, I'll use that too. You could do one package with half a cup of egg whites as a negative three weight loss meter meal. That actually would be like your perfect pairing um, one package with one egg or two pieces of sausage, approved sausage, um, negative two weight loss meter. Okay, that would be a perfect pairing too. And then one pack alone as a snack would be a plus one on the weight loss meter uh, for a snack. And look, there's weight loss pancakes, a video you can watch, and then there's another video. So I like to watch the little videos. So we're going to hop off, but I want to show you something over here in Facebook. If you go into Facebook and go into where's my groups? the Shibboleth new member fast track group, and then you click on the word announcements, scroll through there. Those are things that I've put in there. And if you come all the way down, it's a lot, but 
These are all good things y'all should watch and look through. This is what I ate for my first 20 days. Y'all can go in there. It's not a magical meal plan, but it shows you how I, how I did it and what I did. This is me doing a video on good shibby shop stuff if you wanted to buy anything. And then this is a video on the origins of Shibboleth that Travis did and, and Sasha also answered it. But what I was looking for is this one right here, my favorite meal replacements. So there's my 10 top favorite meal replacements that y'all might want to go check out too. And then after you've done all of that, you just simply check that box, okay? And I hope that y'all have enjoyed tonight and just looking at all the different options. And I just, I fall in love with this lifestyle every time I get to talk about it and teach it. You're welcome, Heidi. You're welcome. Now, if y'all don't know Jonathan Montgomery, he is a very talented man and he sings and he just entertains and he's funny. He is actually doing the How I Overcame Food Addiction and Lost Weight webinar for us tonight. I want you to click on this pink online webinars tab. Click on Travis is, well, they didn't get it in there. Oh, that's because the lady, our virtual assistant, I'm going to have to, Mm, okay, what I want you to do is go over to the uh, Travis's Weight Loss Ministry page. Okay, awesome, Phyllis. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all head on over to one of our Facebook pages. It's probably on Travis Martin's Weight Loss Ministry, or it could be on the Shibboleth. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. That's awesome. I love it. But y'all go check it out. It's always good to hear other people's uh, viewpoints and things that could resonate with you. So y'all have a great night. I want to see you on the Shibby Show in the morning, if possible. And then again tomorrow night for lap six. And if you don't have a membership yet, get your lifetime membership at shibolithdeals.com. And write in there the name of the person you heard about Shibolith from. Thanks. Y'all have a great night.